welcome to the crystal reports pack this is a report 3 now I'm going to show you how to use a sum average in the crystal reports let's start with the new report again let's say start a report a new standard report okay this time I'm going to link select select one table only again the idea is to show you how to do the sum, the average and how the crystal report automatically inserts a graph when you do so. Next, as you can see I have already selected one of the table known as employee and that's it. Now I am going to select the field name. So I am going to select the first as a supervisor because I want the supervisor to be the first field. Because I want to group by the supervisor, then employee ID, and maybe the first name, last name. Because I am going to take a numeric field to show you the sum and average. So I am going to take the salary, and then I am going to move to the next. That's it. It asks me what do you want to group by. I am going to select the supervisor ID, and that's it and we are going to move to the next one and it's asked, give, it has given me that supervisor id employee id also has to be summed so i don't want this thing to be summed as you can see these are the wrong things to getting it summed nobody wants the supervisor id or the employee id to get summed we want the salary to get summed we leave it there and we will select next and group by the supervisor id i am not going to select any top group i am going to sun none as it is wherever it is next uh, maybe this time i am going to select a pie chart rather than a bar chart or any other, any other chart uh, some of the salary i will leave it as it is and then i select next okay i am not going to select any filter fields i am going to leave it as it is again uh, again i will show you how to actually create uh, your own template let's see check out what they offer i cannot see much good in it if anybody likes one of them they can use that okay i'm going to select no template and i'm going to select finish there we go it has already inserted the chart at the top of the report as you can see now as you can see there is a sum of the salary okay this is grouped by supervisor id as you can see again we have to go back to the design table design of the report as you can see so i have grouped by the supervisor id so i no, need not use the supervisor id as a field so I want to delete it so I delete it and now if, if I preview it it will give me a correct preview ok all the employees ok under the supervisor id 2 number 2 we have employee number 13, 10, 5 and so on ok now let's reformat again ok now let's go and format the date first okay right click it format field select whatever field date you want whatever type you want then okay now I'm going to select all these fields and I'm going to make it bold okay this also I want to be bold okay mm. now the thing is we have already got it to the this mm, other thing is as you can see it has grouped by the supervisor ID and it is showing me the salary the salary is summed 
for every group now i have to align it to the correct place so that i can get the correctly aligned data okay so as you say see it's there are a lot of hashes coming up the reason is that the field width is showing me is means it is smaller than what the data is being displayed so i have to make the size little bit bigger and it will show me correctly what data has to be coming up there we go it depends upon what data you have depending upon what how many figures you have and you can resize it okay i will leave it there and i will show you the preview again okay now we have got it corrected now what it is showing me is the sum of every group okay now this was inserted automatically now suppose if you wanted also to see an average okay so let's bring this thing down uh okay now i'm going to insert an average okay that will average the group so i select insert this is how you insert an average select the summary there we go we what the field we want to summarize is salary so i select employee salary and what i want to do some we already have it on the report i'm going to select average see you can see there are a lot of other functions are available that are there that you can use it count max minimum distinct count etc depending upon what your report report requirement is okay and then we have a grand total at the report right now i don't want a grand total at the report or anything what i want is to be averaged by the supervisor id okay and i say okay and it has put the field into the report i will again res i will again have to resize it okay let it be corrected okay i can take a preview okay as you can see it has also average it so i have used average function okay report and as we are going to do a little bit more formatting here and we are going to get this report done as you see now let's see the graph we are going to resize the graph i have already shown you how to add text and everything else okay now as you see this column name is not showing correctly in the report So it will not print correctly, so I am going to extend a little bit here. And let's see a preview again. Here we go. Again, it's not showing up correctly. Maybe field width not coming up. Yes, instead of. getting bigger is moving wait now we have to do it okay here we go and this is it one thing has gone is that a supervisor id group name okay so we insert we have deleted it so we are going to insert a text object and we are going to put it here and we are going to type the supervisor id id that's it and we are going to format it and we are going to make it big okay 
okay let's bring it to the this side and i have to format it make it bold now as this as you can see they these get sometime aligned not correctly so align them select them by control click or drag them and select them depending upon what you want to do and i have used the control and click and i can go to the format i say align top and there we go we are done with it and that's is it now i can push these things up now if i want it also i can also type the put a text object here one thing this is an average and a one thing that is a sum sum of the group actually you don't have to write sum of the group as i clearly understood and other one is the average insert text object and here we go average of the group okay and then i can align them a little bit i can also use the arrow remember that thing to drag up and down after selection okay there we are as you can see the sum of the which was already inserted has a line up and down while about the field we have inserted app it doesn't have so what we do we correct it as saying format field you select a border as you can see there is a border up there more in the border tag it will show up right now okay and at the top we will select a single line and a single line and that's it and we have got a thing bordered also okay now we can use the color whatever color you want from the selection expert last time i showed you how to do it now i'm going to show you directly from here page header and there be there is a color i can choose a color any what background silver then again i can go to the page header i can choose a background color here and i can say blue again if i am going to choose a page header then i have to choose a page footer page header page footer page footer has to be always the same color okay usually you can choose any other if you want more making it more attractive this is a group color i am going to use again silver only okay and so on and so forth i can choose everything i can also make the coloring by with the selection expert again with the same thing i can choose the background color now this time maybe i will take to the more light pink color okay and i'm going to show you the formatted report there we are i have already formatted the report and let's go and have a preview okay there we are done okay as you can see we have a graph here we have learned how to put a sum and average function in the report now you can save it with the save data with report click and then the data is also saved and now you can save the first you have to save the file and then you have to select the save data with the report whatever name you want to give depending upon it and then that's it and you can select save data with the report and we are done that's it don't forget the grand total here we have one more grand total also here i will show you a first preview and then we can finish with this thing okay here is the grand total here we are and that's it we are done with it